I think today might be the hardest to wake up. My alarm was like ringing for like five minutes before I got up, but we got up. It is 6 a.m. in Bali. Okay, we're back in action. I organized all my shit. I answered all of my emails. I took care of all of the notes and things that I needed to take care of. And now I'm again sitting at the designs, at the logo designs. And <laughs> I just now realized the thing, which is there's a problem with pretty much all of the designs. It follows one certain theme, right? There's a symbol, project 33, symbol, project 33, symbol, project 33. It's pretty much the same thing for all of these. But I also realized that pretty much all of these use some kind of standard font. Like if you look at like the way that is written, that's just a standard font. That's just a standard font. That's a standard font. That's a standard font. Pretty much all of them except I saw one which is kind of interesting. Where am I? Um, this one, I'm almost there. Like this one. See, that? that's for example, that's different. That's like, okay, there's something going on. It like represents a certain, you know, idea of, you know, kind of like a pirate theme, you could say, like the O and, like there's stuff going on. And I realized like, we need both. Like we need like maybe a symbol representation of project 33 that we can put, you know, in certain places. But when we talk about project 33 and we like write the slogan, like the logo somewhere, and we don't put the symbol on there, people still need to get the idea, like, you know, the, the the values of project 33 and you don't get that by like a basic font and so i just sent out an update to all of the designers saying that i love the logos and i love the symbols but please 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 we need some typeface logos which basically means like play around with just project 33 and you know create a custom um, font where it's like something's happening um, yeah, took me a bit long to realize, huh? But anyway, um, that's the update on that. Oh yeah, amazing, actually. Because of that, I reached out to the 99design um, support and I said, hey guys, company needed to move from a symbol logo to a pure typeface logo. Some entries are symbols by now. Um, some of the designs in the contest are really good in our opinion. We would like to see what they come up with, but unfortunately, based on the current entry, we can't select the finalists. Is there a possibility, possibility to expand the time to send in entries? Because um, that time expired and um, they said yes. They, he said, let me look at your contest. We've gone ahead and set your contest back to the qualifying round for three more days to give you more time to receive entries from your designers, which is freaking amazing, right? Very good support. They pretty much answered right away. So that's cool. And now I'm gonna keep you updated whether and what kind of new entries we get based on that. Okay, there's a fundamental problem I need to solve about doing work when inspiration hits because Probably some of you guys know that sometimes it happens that you know you have something that you just realize or an idea or something that you realize you wanted to do or should do and then um, you're in the mood of execution and you want that mode like you want to take the first step once you you know think of something because otherwise it's never gonna happen um, but the problem is if you're like me and you plan out your day in advance and pretty much plan it out to the last minute um, that also means that if you have such a random occurrence, if you want to pursue it and do something about it, you have to sacrifice doing something else, which either means you're not doing it or you have to postpone that, which then again leads to, you know, when are you going to do that thing and what are the other things that you then have to postpone because you're postponing that thing. 
So that's a problem. The other solution to that that you could do is, and I used to do that, where you have a block of time every day that you block off four things like that, where you say, all right, here's an hour, two hours, or whatever that is, and I'm not scheduling anything, and whenever something like comes up that I wanna do, that's the time I'm gonna do it. Which sounds smart, but the problem is, you don't have these random things that are actually worth pursuing every day. Um, you shouldn't have, because them being worth pursuing means that they're rare, rarer occurrence. Like if every day you have this random thought and you wanna do it for two hours, then maybe you're just very flaky. Maybe, maybe not, okay? So when I was doing that, I realized that, well, it worked for the times I actually had an idea that I wanted to pursue, but all the other days where it didn't have, you know, where, where that didn't happen, I didn't have anything to do, which meant that those one, two hours, they were mostly wasted because I didn't really have a purpose. And so I was like, uh, what do I do now? Okay, let me just check my Instagram. Okay, let me just answer some messages. And it wasn't like productive. And so I stopped doing that. So, which brings us back to the problem. How do you solve that? Because I also don't want to schedule things. For example, right now, I realized that my Instagram, especially my Instagram story highlights, are completely out of date. And um, that I should update them. And right now, I really, like, I'm in this mode, and I feel like, I could comprehensively create and story highlights that make sense. But then again, like I have shit to do. So I'm like, okay, so, and you know, that maybe takes an hour of time. It's hard, life's hard. Let me know, how, how do you do things like that? Like, yeah, just let me know. I don't know, I don't know yet. Both things work. I could schedule it right now and say like, okay, on Friday at 2 p.m. I update my Instagram story highlights. And for that it actually works because it's a task that is not super creative, but especially if you're doing tasks that are creative and where you need to have like this certain sense of being in the moment and having that spark, then it really becomes a problem. So I, don't, I haven't found a solution yet. Just wanted to state the problem. Because, you know, problems are a thing. Let me know. What's up? Uh, how are you guys doing? <laughs> I totally did not forget about... Uh, that I needed to vlog. Well, I vlogged today. I don't know. Had a good day. Got back into the routine. Did some shit. Um, caught up with some shit. Just had a call with a client who we're now really gonna push. Um, that's the first client we're expanding to Instagram for. So that's kind of exciting for Project 33, the personal branding company. Um, so now it's not only LinkedIn anymore. Um, what else? Nothing. There's also a girl that's kind of been on my mind lately a lot <laughs> I don't know I don't I don't even know if I'm gonna leave this in am I gonna leave this in yeah I'm gonna leave this in I met a girl she's cool um, but I think that's all I'm gonna say about that now yeah see you tomorrow peace out hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up sitting breathing Doing all the things I hate a lot But why now? Holy shit I just wanna make a trip to the child